Say hello to me. Here's a question. Why does Harry Potter make the one non-magical guy the janitor? Oh dear, we are in trouble. Hogwarts is a big castle, and it's important that somebody's around to clean up every time a child dies or blows off one of their limbs with magic. Ah, oh. 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 yes, well, uh, that can sometimes happen. In the past, a wizard has always done the job, but at the time the boy who lives shows up, Argus Filch holds the position. See, Filch is a squib, meaning he was born to magic-wielding parents, but he himself is unable to perform any magic, which is weird, because most first year students could take over Filch's responsibilities in between classes. Like, if someone spills some dragon semen on the floor during potions, Filch has to scrape it up with some sawdust and a broom, but Hermione could just pop off a quick Tergio spell to siphon it up. Are you sure that's a real spell? Which also works with human fluids, just if you're curious. <laughs> And all that's before you even get to the army of sort of slave creatures that Hogwarts employs to cook and clean and steal rich people's socks. Dobby is... John C. But Filch has other duties, right? I mean, he's also in charge of making sure the kids aren't out of their dorms at night. I mean, if he isn't patrolling the halls, they might wander into a room with a dangerous creature taking a shit. I was just sitting in the U bend thinking about John C. But since Filch sucks at magic, the wizard kids have all sorts of ways to get around him. I mean, some have magical maps that give the location of anyone in the castle at any time, others have invisibility cloaks, and others make potions that will turn them into somebody with a later bedtime. I'll be in my bedroom making no noise and pretending that I don't exist. And that's assuming that nobody just blasts Filch with whatever spell they learned that day in Defense Against Authority Figures class. The popular theory is Dumbledore felt sorry for Filch, so he gave him a job and a purpose, but what a frustrating job to give somebody with what's basically a disability. That's the real world equivalent of making a handicapped person the janitor of an entire shopping mall, but only letting them clean the floors with an angry cat dipped in Ajax. You murdered my cat. Oh, I guess there is actually one other non-magical guy on staff, and he's in charge of keeping all the crazy magical animals in check and trimming the crazy magical bushes, so... Makes sense. Say hello to me. 